Right in the center of Medang Town, an eye-catching work of art is in progress. The Medang Art Maniacs coming together to show respect and pay tribute to a man who held traditional arts and culture at heart when he led the country into independence. We know that we all cannot be there, um, that the events that are going to take place will not be accessible to uh, all of us in Papua New Guinea. So for us, we um, took time out yesterday to discuss what we're going to do as a group to show our respect and to pay tribute to um, this great man, our um, political leader, our founder of our country. Using this old billboard, they decided to paint two murals, one a younger version of St. Michael with the other a recent image. This, they say, signifies the long history of the Grand Chief. So it tells of um, uh, generations of influence and leadership and decisions um, that he has um, impact, input, and um, has given his life to for us as a country. A similar mural was drawn by Mervin Mandawa in Wewek Town. This image posted on his Facebook page went viral in a few minutes with many commenting the artist. Many graphic artists also took to Facebook with their work as tributes to the late Grand Chief. The latest portrait I did was to pay tribute to great Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare. Why I did the younger version portrait of him was because he was, he, he was a, when he was young, he used to live in what now called Bronx Compound. It was once called uh, Edmund Compound. It is still Edmund Compound, but somehow it's called Bronx now. So he lived there when he was a young person or a young man. As the country started the National Week of Mourning yesterday, a show of solidarity was shown throughout the country. And for the people of Medang, many will not be able to attend the funeral and burial of Sir Michael, but it is through these acts, it will honor him. Everyone wants to do uh, something to show that respect. So this is our contribution. Stanley Over Jr. National MTV News.